Welcome to another of my tutorials. This one will be a bit different. Instead of showing you how to draw something, I will show you how I used layer styles while making the display screen for the new real world paint. You will find a link to the image file in the description. Download it, open it and look at the layers with me. There are about 10 layers. Click on the Show Active Layer Only button in the toolbar and inspect individual layers. There are those paint splashes, the grass, the text, the signpost parts and one mysterious layer at the end. Let's stop for a moment and click on the Emphasize Current Layer button. This viewing mode could be handy in some situations. While the selected layer is drawn normally, the opacity of all other layers is lowered. You can see parts of the current layer that would be obscured otherwise. OK, switch back to the normal viewing mode, click Show All Layers, and let's look at the layer styles. Click on the Layer Style button, and then on the Modify Style menu item. A Layer Style configuration window appears. In the top left corner is a list of the active effects. The first effect is the Fill effect configured as a wood texture. The second step is the Fill effect again, but this time it is using a linear gradient and the paint over blending to make the lower part darker. The effect is very subtle. The third step is the good old bevel effect and the last step is a shadow. So this is what a layer style can do with a simple black shape. The style on the next layer is very similar. There are different wood colors and also an inner shadow. The next layer is the paint word. Look closely on the first effect. It is a two pixels black outline, but there is a great solid fill following it. Look what happens when I change the width of the outline. The font I used was not bold enough for my liking and so I used the outline effect to make it bolder. The rest of the layer style is trivial. There is a bevel, an actual single pixel black outline and a shadow. Mm, there you see it, a small bevel and an outline. If I turn off the layer styles, you can see that the actual text looks less bold. The next layer is the real world word. Again, the outline is there and then the red, yellow, green gradient. You can, of course, easily create your own gradients. The rest of the style is the same as before. Now we are getting to the grass layers. They use the fill effect again, this time with a cloud generator for an organic feel. There is also another fill effect used that adds more details with a semi-transparent wood generator. The effect is again very subtle. Did I mention that you can make changes to the layers and the styles are instantly applied to the changed layers? I hope you already knew that. Hmm. The second grass layer is very similar. It just uses a bit brighter green colors. Now we are getting to the three colored 
paint splashes. The layer stars are quite simple in these cases. They just add an outline and a shadow. Now the time has come to return to the mysterious last layer. When you look at it with layer styles turned off, it looks similar to the splash. In fact, it is one of the earlier versions of the splash. What's interesting here is the layer style. The first step is our favorite fill effect again, this time using cleaner gradient with two semi-transparent blacks. Then there is a large blur. The third step is a perspective transformation effect and the last step is a blur again. It may not be trivial to see, but this layer style creates a projected shadow from the source image. That's why the layer style contains uh, the copy of the entire splash the layer itself. If I delete part of the source image, the shadow disappears. Remember that I'm deleting just the image in this layer. What you see is a composition of all layers, so only the current layer, the shadow, is affected. Just what I wanted. What else can you do with layers? You can design your own styles. When you click on the Add New Effect item in the Layer Configuration window, you'll be presented with a list of compatible effects. Hover over the effects and watch the preview changing. You can even use a Photoshop compatible plugin or a scripted filter as a layer style. You can save your styles and you can open and assign them to layers again. Click on Open Style. Oh look, I have no layer styles in my library. Let's fix that. Close the document and switch to the online page. Then switch to the Media tab and click on Download next to the Basic Styles Media Pack. Reopen the file and click on Open Style again. There they are, a few styles to get you started. Let's try the blue neon style. See? Previously green splash looks completely different with this style. So thanks for watching and I hope you will amaze me with your creative designs. Do your own modifications of the splash and post it on your blogs. SPNG files please.